Hey there, um, this is part two of the tutorial of um, accessing your website that you've set up um, outside of your computer network or on your computer itself, so over the internet. Um, in the first part of this, <coughs> we set up access using your IP address or a host name from noip.com. So check that out in part one. For this one, we're going to be using our own domain that we've set up and paid for. So in my case, um, hellhound.co.nz and so first of all I'm going to show you how to do that from your web host okay this may differ from web host to web host um, I know a few people use godaddy.com um, in my case I'm in New Zealand so I'm using Maxnet okay so in your domain registrar um, go to your domain services um, or just where your domain is hosted and all the options you can choose and um, you're going to want to find DNS services or anything along those lines and you're going to want to change the zones in that which is basically adding linkages to different IP addresses. So in my case I've got all the name servers and under here you'll see that hellhound.co.nz is linked to my external IP address, my static IP address. Okay so you're going to want to add an A record, I'm not sure how you do this through other web hosts, um, it may be, may be simple, it may be in a list like this, but you just want to go add the basic domain name, so in my case hellhound.co.nz you just want to link it to your IP address and in the previous tutorial I talked about static and dynamic IP addresses um, if you've got a dynamic IP address um, the constantly changing ones um, this probably isn't the way to go but I'll show you how to do that in a second um, through noip.com okay so if you've got a static IP address just type it into here so 203 89 and then you just want to click add a or add or save whatever your website registrar lets you do and then it should pop down down here like mine has okay now once that's set up that should take about 24 to 48 hours to propagate and actually set up um, on a few it may be shorter um, through this one it only takes about an hour okay so once that's done you should be able to access your website through the domain you've registered okay if you've got a dynamic IP address I'll go through that now so we're going to go back to noip.com so no-ip.com <coughs> and then you're just going to want to sign in with your username and password or your email address and your password okay then you're going to want to go and add you will have to pay for this but you're going to want to add your um, your domain name to your noip account so this will actually allow no IP and the program we downloaded beforehand which is the DUC setup um, dynamic update client to actually change your IP address accordingly and allow people to access your website through your domain name and through your dynamic IP address sorry about that so we're just going to want to go into our account so you go into services Okay, once that's up, we're just going to go into Manage DNS. And then just into NIP Plus. Okay, now once you're in here, you're going to want to type in your domain name. So in my case, it's hellhound.co.nz. But type in here whatever um, you've registered and... Um, unless you're going to register it with um, noip.com, um, just leave yes, I've already registered the domain ticked and click add my domain. Okay, and once that's set up, um, you're just going to log in again. So, And just remind, uh, just remember that this will actually cost you um, on top of your actual hosting plan. And I think it's cheaper if you actually host it with them. Okay, now this option here, it just allows noip.com to actually host your website. No, not your website, your domain name. Um, so instead of your actual domain register hosting it, um, these guys will take it over. So if you just want the basic you just leave it with plus manage DNS or if you want to actually transfer it so these guys will actually hold it 
um, just go down here to domain transfer so we're just going to leave it now with plus managed DNS and leave all the other settings unless you want any of these and activate now no I didn't I didn't agree to the terms of service ok go down I agree activate now ok and that will ask you for um, payment and all that sort of thing ok but the basics of that is once that's set up you're going to want to go back into your domain register once you've got all the details from um, noip.com you just want to go back into your register go back down to the settings you were before and you can see down here you've got your name servers now um, noip.com will give you new ones to actually add into here so all you have to do is delete the old ones and add new ones um, with some registers there may be another page to add or change name servers but um, on my one it's here um, so once you've changed those it should take about 96 hours um, to actually change and update and then once that's done it'll be hosted by them and you'll be able to access your DUC client and it'll come up under here uh, after a few refreshes and then just tick it or untick it and then you'll be able to access it from that domain name and it'll send it straight to your IP address so it's basically like a normal setup and once that's done everyone can access your website la -de -la -de -la, and it'll be exactly like mine is and uh, hopefully that helped a few of you out there um, any questions please log on to my website or um, go into my channel on YouTube thanks